A blogger has been jailed after ignoring a court order and publishing sensitive material about the Channel 7 sex scandal. The Sydney man claimed he was merely exercising freedom of speech, but the court found his conduct was criminal. Melinda Nusifora explains. He's a self-styled citizen journalist who claims to defend free speech. Investigating corruption, both judicial and political corruption. But today, Shane Dowling found himself on the wrong side of that judicial system, jailed for four months for publishing material which the court ruled must be kept private. He deliberately set out to disobey and flaunt the solemn order of the court, not merely willingly, but enthusiastically. The rogue blogger revealed the identity of two women who allegedly had affairs with Channel 7 CEO Tim Warner. They were named in legal documents during Amber Harrison's legal saga with the network, but a judge ordered they be suppressed. Justice Ian Harrison berated Dowling in court today because the blogger was live tweeting his own sentence. As soon as his sentence was handed down, Dowling was handcuffed and led from the courtroom. He says he'll be thought of as a political prisoner. The judge wasn't convinced. Media lawyers say it serves as a warning to others that social media and online publications aren't immune from prosecution. We often think that when we post on the internet it's a bit more wild than maybe a newspaper, but really we're responsible for everything we publish online, whether that is Facebook, Twitter, a personal blog. For the past week, Dowling has been trying to raise $50,000 in donations to fund his case, threatening to take his fight all the way to the High Court. Melinda Nusifora, 10 Eyewitness News.